Hi again, everybody. Pat O'Brien here with a clean weekly update. First up, Congress has finally found something they can all agree on, that this country needs an informed drug czar. By a unanimous vote, the Senate has handed Michael Botticelli the keys to one of the government's most impossible jobs, fighting the war on drugs. So far, this has been a war we have not won, not even come close. And many people feel that even with an additional $133 million in funding, it is an impossible job. But Botticelli says he's ready for the job. He may have better success as he personally has won his own drug war. He's been sober for 27 years. Meantime, a new drug problem has emerged, smoking alcohol. With the arrival of the Vapertini, a hookah-type device, the user does not drink but inhale the fumes of alcohol. Doctors point out that by inhaling alcohol, the user may not realize just how much he's getting. And this was bound to happen with new guidelines on how and how much prescription medicine our veterans are allowed. The cutbacks have created problems for vets who now have to make multiple appointments with doctors delaying the process of getting medications they need. However, we see the problem as being that many vets are over-medicated and that painkiller abuse is rampant, causing an entire new set of problems for the already embattled VA. It is estimated that a half a million of those who served in the military are on prescription opioids. And finally, here at Clean, we'd like to point out the advantages of recovery and staying sober, rather than go down that age-old path of just trying to scare people into getting sober, scared straight. In a new British study, it's been determined that a positive look at what sobriety really means is much more effective than warnings about the use of alcohol and other drugs. The bottom line, young people are smart enough to figure out the dangers on their own and a growing number agree with us that structured recovery is the real answer to combating excessive drinking. Well, that's it for this week. This is the place where you get your honest and real recovery news.